y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl it's me lily i hope you guys are doing great today your girl is back with another video so i told you guys that i was going to be back to do another video regarding what i experienced when applying for jobs in today's world child listen applying for jobs and doing the things to do now is so different now with the technology everything is just zoom everything is just app this app that feel like this there so i'm like whoa whoa wait a minute is this secure what what are we doing here wait slow down let's get some information so for example i was on indeed very very heavy so i was looking at jobs um you know for my qualification experience things like that you know looking at the require requirements responsibilities all of these things that jobs require so i'm like okay i'm looking to this apply for it get an email back um from this email here which matches the company that i did submit my resume to on indeed so then they email me and say you know this long email about how they're um pleased and in the like to welcome me an offer and you know giving me details so i'm like oh cool you know i'm really looking for a job i'm looking to work from home you know so this is what it looks like and you know indeed is really really good also about letting you know like if you apply for a job that they feel like wasn't right you know you can report it things like that so i try not to worry too much about it but i'm always still aware of what i'm doing and paying attention so you know they started saying hey let's let, let's jump on uh, we'll be talking through hangouts on your gmail so i'm like oh, okay i've never really did an interview through hangouts but hey you know what do i know i've been on my job for four years i maybe i missed this so you know i jump on there talking back and forth and they're telling me they're going to send me all of this equipment I'm going to get all of this, these things, you know, I don't have to worry about anything. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I've so far I've seen there are companies that say, hey, you know, we're going to send you the equipment. So I didn't think anything about it. So then when it started to get a little fishy, you know, I'm asking some questions. And I like to actually speak to a live person because I'm like, if you're going to give me a job, I eventually want to talk to you over the phone instead of this so that we can confirm different things. And I'm not misinterpreting anything. That's just the way it goes. Okay. Well, they started saying, oh, okay, well, we'll talk. Well, we're, we'll, we're going to talk. Um, but right now we just need to get this information. So we can get you started. Da, 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 da. I'm going to send you a check. And then you're, um, once you get the check, you'll buy your equipment with the check. I'm like, wait a minute. What? so we're going back and forth for well, you know i'm asking i'm like you want to send me a check so then red flag i was like okay so they plan they want to play today because i don't know no company is going to send you no company check to your address they haven't even spoken to you on the phone any all these red flags okay and i'm like wow they got time today then i got time you want to play with my time and you know pretend like you're going to give me a job then you're going to leave me in a messed up situation because you want to send a fake check to me to cash so i'm like okay so once i was fully aware okay they're playing games here we go i got time today so i'm sitting here and i start playing with them i just start messing about asking questions making them work making them work when i tell you i was making them work i was making them work i was making them dig i was asking questions because i was like if you got time you want to get up this is your four-time job you're gonna work for it just to get nothing and i'm not gonna stop until i feel satisfied so i kept going messaging back this went on for about a week received the check so i did not have the check sent to my personal address so you guys know i did not i had it sent to a um a, a fedex location is where i want to pick it up and i had a different address on there because again i already knew what was going on so went to get a check and as you guys can see it looks like a real check and lord jesus thank you for the sense that you gave me that i have enough sense to know better but there are people out there that has been scammed and this has happened to and there was nothing that they can do about it and the reason there was nothing they can do about it is because basically you accepted this money. You accepted this check. You cashed it in. You then so don't even let me skip ahead. I'm sorry. I'm not going to skip ahead to that part yet. So then I'm just, you know, questioning. I pick up the check. 
And, you know, she's like, let me know when you get the check. I'm like, okay, sure. So I let her know I got the check. She's like, well, how much is it? Da -da 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 -da. I'm like, you should know how much it is. You sent it to me. Oh, yes, but we need to verify. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm, you know, playing along, putting the numbers in there. Okay, great, 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 great. You could just see the excitement in, in, in the message. Once I said that I received the check, they were thinking, okay, I've been talking to this girl all week. She really needs a job. She's desperate. She's fixing to do this. We're fixing to get paid to whoever his little family is that he was trying to feed or she was trying to feed or whatever. They thought that they was going to hit the jackpot and get this check. Okay. Not on my watch. So I said, they were like, okay, who do you bank with? I said, oh, Bank of America. I do not bank with Bank of America. But I said, I bank with Bank of America. They were like, okay, so I need you to deposit the check into your account. Once you deposit the check into your account, it clears. I need you to um, deposit the money into this account that I'm going to give you. And then you're be get, you'll be getting the, um, the equipment through one of our vendors. Wait a minute, what? So you're going to send me a check and tell me that I'm going to be getting my equipment with this check. But then you want me to cash the check in my bank. This whole big amount of $5,000 check. You want me to put in my account and let my bank process that $5,000. So I can take that out. Then you tell me, oh, 300 is for you for something. Oh, really? Oh, you? so you think you're going to sit over there and eat seafood and steak and do whatever. And you're going to just give me a measly $300 out of the deal? Oh, no, that's not happening. That's not happening. So then I still kept going with them. I made them, y'all, I made them believe that I was doing this because I wanted to see exactly how far that these scammers would go. And when I tell you they go far, they go far. So I was like, okay, they was like deposited. So I was like, okay, I deposited. So I created, a, I was like, let me go get a Google picture. I'm going to get a Bank of America image i'm gonna put it on here and i'm gonna make them think that i deposited this amount of money in there so i did i created a fake bank of america thing just so they could believe that oh this money went through dang she went through she got proof this is bank of america the logo everything's perfect i had it down to the t and i took my time because again i said i had time i had time you want to play with me i had time so then I started depositing and they said, oh, okay, how much is available? So, of course, you know, you depart, you deposit a large check like that. You're not going to get all of, you're only going to probably get a portion of it until it clears, blah, blah, blah. So I, I made up with something. I was like, oh, well, they only gave me a certain amount. They was like, okay, they wasn't trying to wait till it cleared. They was like, okay, well, immediately you, you go ahead and get that money and, and then do this and then we'll go ahead and get your equipment. So I'm just sitting here like, wow. Okay. Sure, I'm going to do that. So then I started questioning her. I'm like, Latoya, can you um, please answer if I'm trying to call you? I need to ask you some questions. I was like, you're telling me this stuff. We have not spoken on the phone. What are we doing? So I guess at this point, she's sweating because she's like, oh, my God. Now I have to speak to this person. What am I going to do? How am I going to pull this off? Because I wasn't expecting to have to talk to anyone on the phone. want to get this process, get this money in the bank, and then I'm going to dip. That, that's what they were gonna do and i was like no i need to speak to you like i was like i got this money in my account like i can do whatever i want to do with it right now you sent me this check so you need to be trying to answer the phone so then they were sweating okay so they called me i was like come they called me um and it literally was a man trying to disguise his voice and i still made him work i didn't even then let him know that i knew it was what it was i was still asking questions i was like i'm so excited i'm just needing to make sure i'm a type of person i want to make sure i'm doing this right i want to make sure i'm following all the guidelines and so i need to speak to someone to confirm because you know this is very personal and i want to make sure you know i'm like i need to talk so me once they gave me the number if you watch Catfish like I know, you know what to do with that phone number. You plug that number in Cash App. You see what pop up when you do that. And when you do that, a lot of times it's going to come back to a person. They're going to have a picture or something. So you can tell if it's an active account or 
if it's something somebody just put together. But anyways, it came back with this person's name. And I was like, oh, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's see if this is somebody. Because I wanted to turn them in. Now, like, you, you're you literally out here. There's people that need jobs. And they maybe feel like this is real. These checks look real. They may not know no better. And they go and do this. And now they're in a hole with their bank. And their bank, like, no, you brought this check in here. And you cashed this check. So this is your responsibility. And then you thought you was looking for a job. You really going to be looking for a job. Because your bank is going to be in a hole. And they may or may not accept that because once you bring it in and you cash it it's like you brought you brought in a, a fraudulent chick you did this so you have to clear that up and then the scam are gonna be nowhere to be found because then they're gonna close all of this stuff you're not gonna be able to speak to anyone so i just want to let y'all know i finally ended up answering the phone i was like okay this is just yeah i'm done playing at this point um you know after i done ran you know made them sweat a little bit all week then i finally called back and I just let him have it. I let him have it, honey, from the sun up to the sun down. And I told him, you need to get up and get you a real job and stop trying to scam people. I said, you really thought that I was going to cash that check and send that money to you? And they were just sitting on the phone, just listening. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, no, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And then I reported the email the stuff that i was getting i reported the email um to google and i also reported it on indeed as well and everything was taken down and also i the email and stuff i don't know if they took it down if google took it down but i did report that because i hope that they get that person's ip address or whatever that they have they're constantly doing to people that people work hard for their money and they want to steal it they don't want to work this is their job so i want y'all to beware pay attention if you're looking for jobs and make sure that you're checking to make sure these emails is verified that you have a good phone number um that someone that you can confirm that this person's emailing you about a job asking for the personal information and that you just want to verify that you know this is legit before you submit any information and do anything yes i did this approval point because i knew that i wasn't going through with it but i want people to be aware that it is real and that how much time that these scammers invest in making sure that they can take your hard-earned money so please be aware be cautious when applying for jobs be very very protective of your personal information and verify 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 and do your research and they even built a website for this fake company that did not even exist and then you go back to click on it two three days later they don't I guess they seen that company didn't work that same link goes to a whole nother website talking about something else so please do your research and verify them websites look at them because the phone number that they had on there literally said one two three four five six seven eight zero I'm like, wow, you y'all didn't even try hard enough to even put a good number on there. Verify the address. The address is nothing of the name of the company that that they're saying they are. So you have to do your research before submitting your information or you can find yourself in a deep hole trying to get out of it and trying to prove something that possibly can't be found anymore. So I just want to get on here and let you guys know that's what I experienced. Be very cautious. Have a good day. Peace and love. Thanks for watching.